Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Project. I'm Psycho again with you today. And in this part, I'm going to be reviewing Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Probably one of the most popular Call of Duty installments um, in, the, in the previous years. Um, again, it's a first-person shooter, shooter game released in 2012. Um, for for the Windows platform, the PlayStation 3 platform, and the Xbox 360. Um, the Xbox and PlayStation were released a bit later, but um, but they were released as well. Um, <laughs> Black Ops 2 is the ninth installment in the Call of Duty series, and um, and is a sequel to the first Black Ops. Who would have thought, huh? Um, so yeah, let's just get on to the campaign and the story. As um, the main thing about Black Ops 2 is that it is the first Call of Duty video game to feature branching storylines, in which the player's decisions throughout the game affect both the current mission and the overall course of the story. Um, these missions are called Strike Force missions and appear during the 2025 storyline and feature permanent death. Um, the success or failure of these missions can have a a bigger effect on the campaign storyline. Um, choosing one of the missions locks out the others unless um, unless the player begins a fresh campaign. So there are multiple endings to the game, um, as said. There are about, I think, seven or eight different endings. Yeah, seven or eight different endings that you can achieve with the strike missions and the decisions that you you get through throughout the game. Um, the The campaign takes part in well, two in two different so timelines. Um, the first set from 1986 to 1989 during the first Cold War, and the other set in 2025 during the second Cold War. The protagonist, you play as the protagonist Alex Mason, um, which, which returns in the first Cold War, and later on, um, in the 2025 section, you play as Alex's son, David, um, in which Mendenis is plotting against the United States and China and you have to save the world again, who would have thought? So, um, as far as the multiplayer and everything goes, the multiplayer has been kept as well, um, either as online or offline um, via a router. Um, and there, <laughs> there has been another mode that has been introduced. Well, would return act would return in Black Ops 2, and that was the the zombies mode. Um, this is the third time the zombies would return to a Call of Duty game, and the first time to have other game modes than the traditional survival mode. So. As far as the graphics go, the graphics have been upgraded since Black Ops. Not much, actually, but there have been a few improvements in the graphics and in the gameplay. No, there weren't no major improvements that would pretty much be worth mentioning um, as as uh, as in the gameplay or the the graphics or anything else. So that's pretty much gonna be all from my side for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos, and I'll be joining you guys in the next one.